Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this week's video, I'm so excited to bring you my blast in the past makeup tutorial. Um, there is always something new coming out and us makeup lovers that have a little bit of a bigger collection, some of the makeup just kind of goes in a drawer and we forget about it. And I really don't like to see money go to waste. So I created this series, that way I can use everything that is in my collection. Um, so I like to go through my drawers and kind of see what's there. <laughs> so in this week's video I am using the Manny and MUA Glam Palette. I actually really really enjoy this look that I have on. Um, I'm using the highlighter in this palette as well. It's a very very pretty highlight you can see right there. Mm. And then I also am bringing out one of my favorite lipsticks, my Maybelline lipstick. Oh, these lipsticks are so awesome. They are super creamy and I just, they're so comfortable to wear. So this is 575 Brown Blush. This is like one of the very first colors I tried in the collection. I do have a couple other ones like Raw Chocolate. Oh, that color is gorgeous. But this is the one that goes with the look today. So I'm very, very excited to be bringing you this tutorial with these items. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. Now I've already primed my eyes, so I'm going to take the shade Dust Cloud and put this on my eyelids to set my primer. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and start with the shade Sophie and I'm going to put this in my crease. Using that same fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with this pink shade. I cannot even say the name of it, but we're going to put this on the outer corner and in the crease. Using a new brush, I'm going to take the shade Spellbound and I'm going to pat this on the outer corner of the eye. I was originally going to go in with the shade Cancer for my lid shade, but this just was not working out for me. So I ended up having to pull from my Morphe uh, 35F palette for kind of like a cranberry shade. And then I did put another shade on top of that, which was like a light uh, shimmery shade. But um, yeah, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the steps that I did on this with the 35F. That way you can see how it turned out. So I didn't feel that the outer corner was dark enough, so I decided to go in with the shade Howl and put this on my outer corner only to try and deepen it up. For the lower lash line, I'm going to start with this pink shade once more, and then I'm going to take the same brush and go in with the shade Spellbound, and then I will use the shade Howl, and I will put this on the outer third of the lower lash line.
gonna take that highlighter shade and highlight my brow bone. I feel like this is a step that I haven't done in a while, but I definitely miss it. So I'm excited to do this again. so that is it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a big old thumbs up and i will see you guys next time bye